June of 2018, Enforcement by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration of the Maritime and General Industries New Restorable Crystalline Silica Standard will begin. According to the agency, this final rule was issued to curb lung cancer, silicosis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and kidney disease in America's workers by limiting their exposure to restorable crystalline silica. Crystalline silica is a common mineral found in many naturally occurring materials and industrial products. OSHA reports that approximately 295,000 workers are exposed to respirable crystalline silica in over 75,000 general industry and maritime workplaces. The agency estimates that over 100,000 workers in these employment categories are exposed to silica levels that exceed the new permissible exposure limit. The new standard reduces the permissible exposure limit for respirable crystalline silica to 50 micrograms per cubic meter of air averaged over an 8-hour shift. The new standard also requires employers to measure the amount of silica that workers are exposed to if it may be at or above an action level of 25 micrograms of silica per cubic meter of air averaged over an 8-hour day protect workers from respirable crystalline silica exposures above the new permissible exposure limit, limit workers access to areas where they could be exposed above the PEL, use dust controls to protect workers from silica exposures above the PEL, provide respirators to workers when dust controls cannot limit exposures, restrict housekeeping practices that expose workers to silica where feasible alternatives are available, establish and implement a written exposure control plan that identifies tasks that involve exposure and methods used to protect workers, offer medical exams, including chest x-rays and lung function tests, every three years for workers exposed at or above the action level for 30 or more days per year, train workers on work operations that result in silica exposure and ways to limit exposure, and keep records of workers' silica exposure in medical exams. These are just a few things to know about occupational exposure risks to respirable crystalline silica for workers in general industry and maritime operations. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, indoor air quality, building science, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.